point here is how question is going to be how difficult is Myanmar going to make it for these refugees to prove that they were actually living in Myanmar before? So many of them fled with just the clothes on their backs. They don't have any documentation with them. Uh, now, the Myanmar government is saying that they've been keeping records and they can cross check that with how the uh, refugees would answer questionnaires. questionnaires. Um, but that's still very vague as to how that process is going to work. There's a lot to be talked about that. There are going to be discussions about how the Rohingya would be treated when they come back. And then a long-term sticking point here is the issue of citizenship. The Rohingya are stateless, and they are not welcomed by most of the people in this country. Uh, most of the people here see them as illegal intruders from Bangladesh, and that's why most of the people here call them Bengali. So that's going to be a long-term topic uh, to figure out, not just between Bangladesh and Myanmar, but the international community as a whole. They're in really deplorable conditions in those camps in Bangladesh because you've had close to 600,000 people flood there in, in a period of about two months, uh, and that's just too much for any place to handle. So those conditions are difficult, but the question is, what kind of conditions would they return to in Myanmar? So many of their villages have been completely burned down to the ground completely. Now, the Myanmar government is saying that they will place them in what the government is calling model villages, but many human rights activists are saying they are concerned that these would basically be camps that would be turned into long-term detention centers. I mean, essentially what you have in the Rakhine state capital of Sitwe now are IDP camps where many Rohingyas have been living for five years completely dependent on humanitarian aid for food and for medical care. Now, on top of this, there is recent news that any Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh that would return to northern Rakhine would be unlikely to be able to reclaim their land and that the crops they left behind might be harvested and sold by the government so that news is just going to give them a lot more to, con to consider about maybe not wanting to go back into Myanmar.